Hello and welcome. Uh, I would like to explain a little bit what the new beast that's called CE Enhanced Syslog is. Uh, my name is Rainer Gertz. I'm the main author of our Syslog and I'm also a member of the CE board and the uh, related Lumberjack project initiated by Red Hat. Uh, CE Enhanced Syslog provides uh, essentially three things. Uh, it gives us the ability to express structured data inside Syslog messages. There have been various efforts to do this, uh, uh, all of them with uh, very limited scope to be honest, uh, and CE Enhanced Syslog tries to uh, solve that problem finally and looking at who's working on it uh, seems to be able to do this. Uh, important thing is that it works with any syslog message format we have. It works with IFC 3164 syslog, which is the typical uh, old-style syslog message. Uh, it also works with 5424 IFC type messages. Uh, and most importantly, it works with crafty legacy stuff uh, uh, that is pretty mild formed as long as uh, the uh, new message format uh, inside the message part will be used correctly. Uh, the CE enhanced syslog will be fully standardized as part of the Mitre CAE Uh, so in the long term we have a standard to code. Right now it's all lit, a bit lit, uh, little bit under development, uh, so we don't have a standard spec now that will evolve within the next uh, couple of months. How does it work? Uh, it's pretty simple and uh, basic. Uh, the message body uh, of syslog message, which typically is that part here if we look at the sample message, is extended by a cookie that's at CE colon and then there should be a space but we expect that it's usually uh, omitted. Uh, followed by JSON encoded structured data. So we may even uh, use some depths inside that uh, data. It's not just plain name value pairs, uh, but we may have one or two or three levels of uh, depths. Uh, sample message looks like this. Uh, we have the uh, on the wire message is this. We have the syslog priority and facility. We have the date stamp, uh, host name, tag. That's The 3164 legacy syslog type I used here intentionally. Uh, and then we have the uh, CE enhanced part, which claims the uh, add CE colon, and then we have uh, actually two name value pairs, uh, field one with content data and field two with content data two. Uh, no structure here, but would be possible. Uh, it works as long as CE and JSON part is kept intact. So if we do have this here, it doesn't really matter what uh, syslog uh, uh, version is used to transmit it and how malformed the header may look like, and we often have malformed headers. Uh, one question uh, I'm asked about it is, will it break compatibility with existing technology? No, it won't because it's designed uh, not to. And it all is also important to understand uh, modern syslog de design to see uh, how this works. And on the latter, I have a separate quick talk uh, available. So it's a proper extension. It is uh, considered to be CE enhanced only if, if and only if, cookies o the cookie occurs exactly at the start of the message and the JSON part decodes without problems. That is, the, the core idea behind this is if uh, we see the cookie, uh, we already have a very good chance that uh, it is a new style message. Uh, but if we have the cookie plus the JSON part correctly uh, decodes, uh, we, we, it is extremely unlikely that we have a legacy message that uh, fulfills both of these properties. Even if it did, it wouldn't really matter uh, because then we would probably, pro probably process it. So there's no problem in that. Uh, syslog D, so what, what people are concerned about is, uh, okay, we can parse it, uh, but will all our messages now end up in that somewhat ugly format inside the uh, log files? Well, it depends. It actually depends on you. Uh, it is not necessary. First of all, the syslog daemon can reformat the message, if that's desired, put it into some kind of legacy stuff, uh, or, and I think that's the option that probably most often uh, taken in the future, uh, it will not forward these messa messages to the old style text logs, uh, but instead to newer data stores, which support uh, structured data in themselves, and which can be queried uh, uh, and exported to traditional
traditional format. So, no, it will not break existing technology. Uh, to understand this even better, uh, I recommend my talk uh, on SysLog D design. Well, that's it for now. Uh, thanks for listening. And for any logging news, including CE and the CE enhanced format, uh, please visit my blog at uh, the given address. Thanks a lot.